What's going on gamers? Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Now today I want to show you exactly how you can become unraidable on PvP. I've been playing on official PvP servers for about probably 60 to 70 hours of just playtime alone. And I've learned a lot and there's some things that I'm going to show you that I know is going to help you out immensely when it comes to protecting your base and all your uh, valuable goods. Now, the base location I'm going to show you is obviously going to be really overpowered and not everyone's going to have access to it. But do not worry because of this method that I'm going to show you will apply to just about anywhere that you can find your base. And the main thing we're going to be doing is you're going to like honeycomb your base uh, essentially. So I'm up here at the top left of the map right here. As you see, there's a ton of bases stuff down there and a handful up here up north. And not many people are over here in this tier three area. So I already have the advantage right there and it's just a really great location. But I also have found a large area and that that's what you're looking for right here. Because as you see a lot of spots um, kind of like this castle right here. They have the little stairs that go up and then a small plot of land. The game's kind of designed for you to place your bases in these locations. But instead of the, doing that you want to wall off an area that is doesn't have like valuable resources because you don't want to affect the other players in the game to that extent just wherever there's flat land so like right there or you could even wall off like right here and here and take that large area wall off right here take that area so uh you could just look through your map and find a spot like that uh even over here you can kind of just wall off a large area and the reason you want a very massive area is because you want to have room for like two bases each player in the game can actually have two bases. I am on duos right now, so me and my friend can both have two bases um, by ourselves. So that's four bases total. We are just using a two right now, and we have taken over this entire large area. So anyways, back to the topic at hand. What you want to do is, like I said, honeycomb your base. So you just want a ton of doors. Like you want to make it really confusing to the intruders that actually come to your base. And as you see, I've walled off literally every square like this. And I'm like funneling them in through my base, almost like a maze with so many doors. That way, uh, whenever they do come in here, if they use the golem to uh, siege the tower or like my castle, they are going to have to go through so many walls. Now, the golem is only up for a small amount of time. So the longer that you can delay them, the better chance you're going to have of keeping your stuff intact. And not only that, if you make your base so annoying to a raid like I have mine now, nobody's really going to bother you too much because why would they do that when they could go over here and raid, you know, little Timmy that's on this hill that didn't watch Suro's video and they could raid him and take all of his good stuff because he didn't double or triple or quadruple his doors. However you want to see it. He, he just kind of placed his stuff down. So this isn't even the like a scratch of the surface on my base. I have just walled off so many. I need to put some more doors right here. And another thing you can do to trick them is you could just put some random chests. Now whenever you break into someone's castle and you try to open one of their chests. It takes a really long time to open. It's like 5 to 10 seconds. I think it's closer to like 10 seconds. And then you could just put some scrap loot in there. Just some junk to kind of throw them off. And kind of entice them to op like open some of these other chests. And that right there is going to eat up more time. Now as you see I my first base I have leveled up to tier 3. So you can tell by the icon on the castle here. So this is my largest base. And I'm using it. For just walls like literally just walls and doors and this is going to make it so frustrating to raid me that most people are just not even going to bother anymore so after we navigate to through my base here and they try to break some of the doors chances are their golem is going to disappear and my actual base is back here and this is where i keep all of my stuff now once you get to your actual base you also want to have some extra doors in here just in case they somehow by miracle like they they just want you to die they want your castle to be completely erased like they just want in here they could if they summon two or three golems so if they did get to this point you want to make sure that you have multiple doors here to make it even more difficult and it gives you a fighting chance because you can have your coffin back here and you can spawn in and fight them and then also if you have a ton of servants which i highly recommend you getting some 
definitely put your servants and host them but back here in your main base that has all of your loot and of course in the very back corner have all of your chest and your heart of uh the castle and all that good stuff here and yeah so that's a, a couple of the tips that i have for you guys i really really suggest you do something like that even if you don't have like a large area it's kind of just a medium side same thing applies add four or five walls because the golem in the game is so ridiculously overpowered right now that they can just stomp through these doors in just like 10 15 20 seconds and the more layers you have the higher chance you're going to have of just uh you know being okay and now on to the last tip that i have for you guys you want to make sure that you actually cover all of your areas so if we go over here and you have the border I need to make sure that all of this is completely taken by me. So like I have this back section here. I could put another base in this area if I would like. And I really want to. Because if I don't, someone can actually use the little like bird power that turns you into a bird. And they can fly back here. Uh, put down like the heart of uh, the castle back here. And they could just have an annoying little structure in your base. So make sure that whenever you are covering an, an, an area, you have it as much as you possibly can blocked off. That way people don't come and bother you and you can keep these resources to harvest for yourself. Uh, you can't carry anything in bird mode, so they can't really do much to you. But it would be annoying if they placed their base back here and they harvested all these trees and rocks and just kept expanding. So uh, make sure that you have all your borders completely controlled on that. So anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more tips and tricks for PvP or just in this game in general, please be sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you all in the next one.